Thank you for taking the time to watch the following video about the best products of this year. With so many products available, which one is the right model for you? The purpose of this video is to provide you the best choices available today. We have conducted many hours of research and comparisons along with in-depth reviews from homeowners just like you that have purchased these products in the past. We feel that the following video will help you make a more decisive decision. Make sure to check the products links below in the description. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Mark from Platinum LED Grow Lights, and today we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison test of two LED grow lights, the Mars 2 700 watt and the Platinum LED P450. What we like to show you is that wattage draw does not equal final output power. You can have some lights that use more wattage, but actually generate far less PAR, when PAR is the most important factor in the LED grow light intensity. As we all know, PAR stands for Photosynthetic Active Radiation, which is a measure of an LED grow light's power. This, coupled with the spectral output, gives you an equality LED grow light. For specifications, we have the Mars 2, consuming roughly around 294 watts and using 145 watt diodes. The Platinum LED P450 consumes roughly around 255 watts and uses 153 watt diodes. We're going to be using three different pieces of equipment for this test. We're going to be using an Apogee MQ200 PAR meter, an industry standard. We're going to be using an UPR Tech spectrum analyzer. And we're going to be using a kilowatt meter to test the actual wattage draw. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to verify the wattage draw. The wattage draw of the Mars 2 is reading in right about 289, 290 watts. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna give a center PAR test reading at 18 inches of height. We'll go ahead and we'll verify that to be 18 inches right there. We'll kick on our MQ200 and we'll see that the PAR reading is right at about 707 micromoles at 18 inches of hanging height. Then we'll give a quick spectral analysis using our UPR tech monitor. Shoot it under here. And here we go. Two distinct pinks, blue and red. All right, now time for the Platinum LED P450. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify the wattage draw, which we show to be right here at about 253 watts of usage. All right, next thing we're gonna do after that is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give a little spectral readout using our UPR tech monitor. Fresh press the button and you can see Thanks to the 12 bands of spectral output, we offer the most efficient, complete spectrum possible. Big difference. The very last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and PAR test the light. We're gonna verify the hanging height to be 18 inches. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to kick on our MQ200. You'll see that we're reading right around between 1330 and 1340 micromoles. So as you can see, you can have two lights one drawing more power, but putting out around half the actual PAR output. This is why wattage draw does not equal the final growing power. PAR is the measurement of final growing power. Couple this with the spectral output, and this is what delivers a quality LED grow light. To learn more about our P450, as well as the rest of our LED grow lights, please come to PlatinumGrowLights.com, where we'll show you why we are the most powerful LED grow lights, the highest PAR output per watts consumed, with the most complete spectrum on the market. Thanks so much.